great. Uh, so welcome. We um, are first, oh, sorry, <laughs> still ironing out some kinks here. Uh, welcome to this event. Uh, we'll have a couple of housekeeping um, things like the recording, like I just said. Um, next, we'll go over our Brave Friendly Space Agreement. After that, we'll talk about the WPWP campaign and um, we'll show you how to add images to Wikipedia pages. Um, before and after that, we'll do a question and answer and then we'll also engage in some communal editing. We'll edit together and then we'll wrap up hopefully within the hour. <laughs> so this is our Brave and Friendly Spaces Agreement. The goal of this session is to create an encouraging space for collective learning. This requires intentional behavior wherein participants are conscious, conscious of and accountable for the effect of their statements and actions on others. We respect our experiences and the experiences of others and recognize that we don't do this work without one another. We agree to hold each other accountable to foster a brave, friendly space. If you'd like to read the entire, um, the entire agreement, um, that's the link and I will post it in the chat in a moment. Oh, go, go ahead. Sorry, Sadiq. <laughs> okay, um, my name is Sadiq Shahadu. Um, my pronouns are he and him. I'm a regional ambassador for indigenous communities at Art and Feminism, and I will be co-facilitating this session. Um, the purpose of this session is to introduce you to WPWP campaign, which is uh, Wikipedia pages one through four rules. And, um, we we'll also use it to demonstrate how you can um, find photos on Wikimedia Commons that do not have um, or are not attached to Wikipedia articles. At the same time, we'll show you how to add images to any Wikipedia article of your choice. So, yeah. And I'm Alison Bates, uh, she, her, and the North. Northeast Regional Ambassador for Art and Feminism, uh, which is Northeast USA. So next slide, please. <laughs> so to introduce you briefly to the Wikipedia Pages Wanting Photos campaign, um, I put a link in the chat, which is their kind of project page. Uh, it's basically an international campaign dedicated to adding images to Wikipedia pages that currently lack them. Uh, users are encouraged to use images that have already been uploaded to Wikimedia Commons. Um, and the reason is because images make Wikipedia pages pop. They make them look way cooler, um, more engaging, and um, just make it look like a better page overall. And um, next slide, please. Okay, so um, I am going to walk you through how we can find images or some of the strategies that you can use to find images on Wiki, uh, some of the tools that you can use to find images that are not on Wikipedia articles. Um, before I do that, I would like to know if any of you have added any image to an article before, either on the Dagwan Wikipedia or um, English Wikipedia. Anyone with an experience adding images to Wikipedia articles? Yes, please. Okay, great. So yeah, and um, there are different ways to add images to Wikipedia com um, articles from Wikimedia Commons. As we, we all know, Wikimedia Commons is the media repository of all uh, pictures or videos we see on Wikipedia um, articles. And we, all the articles that are found on Wikipedia, most of them have um, you know, a lot of information by lax image. Uh, you can pick a random article which talks about a topic like uh, maybe Tamale, and but it, it will be difficult for you to, um, you know, get an image attached or for someone to just know what Tamale is or where Tamale is. So it is important that we, you know, continue to add more images to Wikipedia articles. And one of these um, campaign 
one of the main goal of this campaign is to help improve the content of Wikipedia articles by adding more images across multiple languages. Um, as a community, it is important for us to learn. Uh, I know most of the participants are from the Dagban Wikipedia community. Um, if there are other people from different communities, you are highly welcome. Um, so I'm just going to do the demonstration. Before this, I will come to this uh, place, finding pages um, with tools. So there are different ways to um, get pages that do not have images attached to them. One of the services you can use is the Wikidata query services, or we call it Sparkle. And this particular service is um, a tool that is powered by the Wikimedia um, pl platform. Uh, and it allows you to be able to extract um, useful information from databases. Um, we use the resource description framework, uh, which is like a query language to retrieve all this information using um, a series of like statements um, when you run them, you'll be able to get all the information that you want. And to do this, you will need some little um, technical skills, which I will not want to bore you with that. Um, yeah, but you can always request for a code. Even if you don't know how to query, it doesn't mean that you cannot model or play with it. You can always um, contact um, the community on Telegram by just saying, hey, I need um, a query to get information about this topic or that and someone will just jump in and help you with the query. So it's just um, some bunch of codes that you run and then it will display um, all the information that you want, depending on what um, information you are looking for. So for getting pictures to, you can use Wikidata query services to extract um, the pages on Wikipedia that do not have um, Wikidata, um, that do not have images. I am going to show you how Wikidata query services look like. I don't know if you can see my screen. So this is the interface. This is the interface of the Wikidata query services. When you have your code ready, there are samples here, which we can just pick. So for example, if I want to know um, something about cats, maybe um, the most popular cats in America, I would be able to get some information from this page. I'm still loading. Yeah. So this page will give you more information about cats. This is the code. Um, yeah, so I'll just select this particular code here. And, and run it. Okay, so I've just um, imported some code here. It looks really confusing if you don't know much about Wikidata query services, but it's um, pretty simple. This is just uh, a statement to pull information from Wikidata P31 and then Q2934. Uh, as we all know, Wikidata love um, numbers because it's the machine readable platform. So when I click on run, just like here, the blue button, when I hit run, yes, so it is pulling some useful information. Yeah, yeah. So this is basically how Wikidata query services work. If I was looking for all Wikipedia articles in the Dagban or Dagban Wikipedia articles that do not have, um, you know, images. I'll just type the code here, put my statements together, and then run it. Then it will display all the um, pages that do not have images attached to them. So I'm going to take my time to do a video on this because I know most of you may not understand some of the things. So I just did a demo for you to know, but there's a real um, place all of us can be on the same page. It's not uh, that technical as compared to this platform. But if you have any question regarding Wikidata query services and how you can use it, um, please let me know.
So that is it about Wikidata query services. If you want to use it to find um, Wikipedia pages, wanting photos. Now let's go back to my slides again. The next one is um, this tool, very interesting too, also uses Wikidata. We know Wikidata is one of the most powerful uh, Wikimedia projects. Uh, it allows you to be able to do a lot of stuff, fun stuff. And you would be able to use this particular tool to display pages with images on Wikimedia Commons that are linked to Wikidata items, but don't have Wikipedia uh, like pictures on their Wikipedia articles. Let me repeat that again. This particular tool allows you to be able to display pages with images. That means the pages already have images on Wikimedia Commons. And at the same time, they are linked to their Wikidata, respective Wikidata items. But some of them may not have the images attached to Wikipedia, um, at their respective Wikipedia articles. So this way, you will be able to figure them out and just do them manual by yourself. We also have pet scan, another uh, interesting tool that you can use to generate list of pages or Wikidata items that uh, maybe need um, photos. All the pages, you can find them in one category. Um, let me start with this again, let's demo this. Okay, before I demonstrate this, I would also want to add that there are also ways you can pick images from Wikimedia Commons platform. So if I'm writing an article or I've, I have an article about um, Kuku in Tamale, and I want to know whether there's an image of Kuku on Wikimedia Commons, <clears throat> I just go to commons.wikimedia.org. I would go to commons.wikimedia.org and then I type Kuku here. So this is the simplest way to look for um, photos about places or Wiki, Wikipedia articles on Wikimedia Commons. So when I type Kuku and I don't find any image, it means, oh yeah, we have a lot of images about Kuku. So this is the basic uh, or the simplest way to find, um, you know, images about Wikipedia articles or images on Wikipedia articles. I've seen this, I think this photo was uploaded by who, let me see. Hmm. Of Uprising Man. So it was uploaded by a user called Uprising Man in one of our photo works. Nice. So if I have an article on Wikipedia about um, Kuku, Bimbila Kuku, I'll just come here and then pick, grab this um, image. Then I, which uh, my colleague would do that, we, she would demonstrate that to us how to add them on Wikipedia articles. So that's the easiest way to find. Um, images without any struggle. Now let's come back to the two. Please, 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 uh, sorry, please go over this one. The Wikimedia Commons. Please raise your voice more. Yes, please, yes, please. The one is the most important. Okay, all right. So I was saying that aside from the tools and strategies that you can use to like get images, for Wikipedia articles. There's a simplest way to do that. If you don't know how to use the tools, you just go to Wikimedia Commons. As we all know, Wikimedia Commons is the media repository of Wikipedia where you can find all photos and it has a collection of 74 million plus um, freely usable media files that anyone can contribute and use. To be able to do that, I said you go to the search bar you log in, whether you log in or not, you will still be able to get the information that you want. So we can just pick any random name. Let's say, um, um, aside from Kuko, let me use another one. Let's say Tamali. If there's an article on Wikipedia called Tamali Ghana, I think it has Tamali Ghana.
Okay. So you can use the Wikimedia Commons search bar to find um, all related images about Tamale on Wikimedia Commons, which I just did. As you can see, there are a lot of um, photos about Tamale. This is the town, this is the airport, Tamale airport, this is the stadium, this is the Tamale market, flood, um, the Tamale central mocks. Yeah, so this is how you can get the images without any tool. Um, I don't know if this has answered your question. Are you clear with yes, this? Yes, please, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yeah, okay. thank you, you can, thank you. you can go ahead. Okay, so now I'm going back to the tools. Okay, so we are looking at this tool called WD4WP. When I click on the link, it will take me here. I don't know if you can see my screen well. Should I increase the font? Looks okay. good. So this looks good. Okay, great. So this tool shows candidate images for Wikipedia articles, as I said, and they use uh, it was developed in connection with Wikidata, which means Wikidata helps will help you to be able to get all the information that you need on this tool. Um, it's currently using um, P uh, property 18. Now, before you do anything, you first of all need to log in as I've just logged in. It's just the same as your Wikipedia account or Wikimedia projects. You can use the same username and password to log in. Once I log in, I'll look for the wiki that I'm working on or I want to work on. In this case, I would like to use the English Wikipedia. So this is the English Wikipedia, en.wiki. And I select. Okay, once I select the English Wikipedia, you see a bunch of articles with their respective images and Wikidata item. But mind you, we are looking for articles without images. And when I use, when I type select English, I see a lot of articles which already have images. On the left side, that is the Wikipedia article. On next to it is the Wikidata item. And they will tell you that this um, article already has an image. That's fine, but we will need to filter this. To do that, we need to select an instance of, the instance of is just like um, the Wikipedia pages when you are creating an, um, a Wikidata item. So I will come and select instance of. That instance of is the topic, let's say human, airline, business, road, any topic on Wikidata. So what are we looking for? We can just select anything. Um, let me see, let's, go with, uh, let's say, film. I will select instance of film. So what this does is it will narrow the search to only film, film related um, content. And as you can see, we are on the English Wikipedia. So uh, it has showed so many Wikipedia um, articles you can always go next, 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 up to 20 to get all the information or find information. But still, you see images. When you look at them, you still see images. But it doesn't mean that all of them have images as it is showing here. I already mentioned that um, it is using Wikidata. So it may have an, the article may have an image on Wikidata, but not on the Wikipedia article. Let's try that out and see. I'll select the first one, Flaming Star which is a film. Um, this thing has blocked my screen. I can't see the, whether the article has an image. Okay, it does. Yeah, so this one has an image. Now let's go to another one. We can go to next, but let's try another topic and see. So I'm coming to 
let's see this. Does this have an image? Can you see my screen? Yeah, it does. It does. So it's probably because many people are adding, as, I'm, as we are talking now, um, the campaign is ongoing. A lot of people are adding more images, like I understand more than 5,000 um, if um, articles has been worked on with images, but still, I know there are a lot of image um, articles here that do not have articles um, images attached to them. So I'm going back again to do another search. Okay, this has let's keep going. Search. Okay. This is just that. Okay. How do I hide this? Okay. Let me just hide this thing. Okay, so this particular article, can you see my screen? Doesn't have an image. Can you all see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. On this page, on this page, it says that. Let me. Yes, I did. It says that the article "Man with a Movie Camera" has an image, which is true. This is the file. Uh, the file um, URL. And this is the image, truly, truly. But when I click on the Wikipedia article, when I click here, it takes me to the Wikipedia article and that particular article does not have an image. Let me go back. This is it. It doesn't have an image, is that correct? But on the page, it says this topic already has an image. But when I click on the Wikipedia article, it doesn't. That means the topic only have images or have an image on the Wikidata item. Let's try and see if that is true. I already told you the next one is the Wikidata item. So let me open it in a new tab. So yes, um, not this one. I'm looking for what we okay man the movie man with the movie camera okay I'm going back to look for it okay this is it so when I open the next one which is supposed to be the Wikidata item I should see um, an image attached to the Wikidata item yes so this Wikidata item on man with a movie camera does have an image as the page suggests but it does not have an image attached to the wikipedia article so let's go back to the wikipedia article yes that's true it doesn't have an image as you can see now we would have to add this image 
to the Wikidata item. I'm going to demonstrate that how to add an image. So I'm taking, um, already taking the first step. Oh, Alison, would you want to do that? I can, um, but if you, if you want to. <laughs> okay. All right, All right, cool. So I'm going to add the image. So this is basically to show you how to, one way to get Wikipedia pages without images. This tool says most of the articles or items on this page have or already has an image, all of them as it says on the page. But when you click the Wikipedia article, because we are looking for Wikipedia articles, not Wikidata items, you may not see images attached to all of them as it is showing here. So always select, choose your topic, and then go through the Wikipedia articles, which I say uh, is on the left, the far left. This is the Wikipedia article. And then next to it is the Wikidata item. And then the file name and the file URL is the last one. So this is just to show you how or different ways you can add images to Wikipedia um, article or find them using this tool. So I'm coming back to the article and I'll grab this file URL. Okay, um, Mr. Sede. Yeah. Please, before you continue, just a quick recap on how to use the PET scan again. Like, is it that under the categories, you have to specify what you want or okay, so the system does that for you? No, you select, you select what you want. So let me go back again, just a quick demo. I am not using um, the PET scan yet. I'm using the other two, which is called WD4WP. So we are okay. on W or WP. Uh -huh. so I'm, going back. I'm referring to that one, brother. Yeah. So when I click on the page like this, as I said earlier, you would need to log in with your Wikipedia or Wikimedia account. It's still loading. So as I said, this uh, um, platform allows you to see pages that have an image on Wikidata, but no page image on Wikipedia. It's still loading. Okay. So from here, the first thing you need to do is to select the wiki that you are working on. We have the English Wikipedia, the German Wikipedia, bunch of um, Wikipedia, um, different Wikipedias. So I am working on English, which is 41300. So do we have the Dagwani Wikipedia, please? Not yet. Not okay. Yet. I'm sure more. Um, languages will be added soon. So this one currently works with these languages. We have the Russian um, Wikipedia, the Portuguese Wikipedia, and a couple of them. So I'm working on English. I'll just select EN Wiki. Once you do that, it will load and you will see so um, a lot of articles or Wikidata items, as you can see. When you scroll down, you can see them. But you need to narrow your search to a particular topic you are working on. If, for example, you are interested in adding images to only, um, uh, you know, arts, articles, or films, or sports, depending on the topic you want to work on. So I decided to select uh, films. So I'll come back, you can select sports season. You can select road, you can select business, airline. So I'll go for film. Okay. This takes me to this page. And as I said, one side is the Wikipedia article. The next one is the Wikidata item link, the image, and then the file name and the file URL. Now let's go back to, is this um, clear? Are you okay now? Okay. Yeah. 
Yes, right. please. Okay, great. So I am coming to close these tabs and I'll show you how to add the image to the Wikipedia article. I'm closing these tabs. To do that, you open the first link, man with a movie camera. When I open it, that should be the Wikipedia article. So this is the Wikipedia article. Now let's go. I don't know why it's difficult for me to open tab. Okay. The next link is the Wikidata item. So let's go to the Wikidata item too. I'll open that too. Yes, yeah, so this is the Wikidata item. This is the Wikipedia article. Now the Wikidata item has an image, which is here. Yeah. This is the Wikidata item, the image on the Wikidata item. There's even a video, yeah. Okay, now we want to add the image to the Wikipedia article. I'll come back. To do that, you will need to select the file name here. You don't need to copy everything. You can just copy up to this PNG. I will paste the link what I've copied is, I'm sorry the screen is messing up here. So I need to always go back and forth. So this is what you need to copy. This one, I'm trying to copy this. I'll copy this one like this. Then I come to the article. course you need to log in. I'm already logged in. And then um, I'll click on edit source. You click on edit source. Okay, then you come to the info box. This we call it info box. All the short descriptions on the left side from this side upwards is the info box where you can find the image. And as you know, the article doesn't have an image. When you come to image, there is no uh, image attached to that. So I'm going to paste my image. This is the image here. If you can see, let me increase my screen a little. Okay, so this is the image. Then you go to publish or publish changes. I need to describe what I did, added an image. Then I, I can preview, show preview. Um, please just write before the below the image we have caption. What does that represent, please? So that could be the caption of the image, the, the the man with a movie camera. That's the caption. So you know, image has file name and then the caption. So you can write something little about the picture and the caption. Does that answer your question? Okay. Yeah. Oh, just so we are, we are, um, so, <clears throat> excuse me, to participate in the WPWP campaign, we're just asking that in your edit summary, you include hashtag WPWP, which is how the campaign will um, keep track of how, of how many images were added during these two months. So yeah. um, you'll see Sadiq type in hashtag, <laughs> I'll type it in the chat, as well, <laughs> hashtag WPWP. So if you want to participate in the campaign, this is where you add your hashtag and the edit summary. 
So I added an image, then I'll put my hashtag, or let me just put, I'll delete the edit summary, and I'll just maintain it like this. This way, the organizer will be able to, or your contribution will count for the campaign. So I just added the hashtag. I've submitted my first entry. <laughs> So I can preview to see the changes. Then I hit publish. Oops, internet. This might be a good, <clears throat> a good moment. I forgot to say this earlier during housekeeping. Um, we do have a data or internet connectivity reimbursement policy um, for attendees who reside in regions where expenses for private internet data costs are prohibitively expensive. Art and Feminism is able to offer a $5 USD stipend to offset costs. Um, so I'll paste all of that information in the chat. Okay, thank you, Alison. So I've uh, just added the image like that. Now this article has an image. Any question on that? Wow, it's so sweet. It's nice. So simple. So now we know how to use the tool, that particular tool to get Wikipedia pages without um, images or photos. And then adding them to the articles. Great. Yeah, I mean, you can add so many images, right? Yeah, so now you can just go through. I'll share the link or share the slides with you, and then you just play around it. You can find so many articles without. I mean, let me search for another one. Let's see this uh, one element. Let's that's another movie. When I open the Wikipedia article, let's see. Oh, this one too doesn't have an image. So you see, there are a bunch of articles in this category without image. Uh, without images there are a lot of them this one let's do this again so um i'll close the first one mm. one helmet let's open the wikidata item again oh yeah it has a um, wikidata um it has an image on the Wikidata item. So we are going to add it to the Wikipedia article. When you are copying the link, always ignore the first, is it, um, what's the name of that uh, symbol? Is it? Kelly bracket. <laughs> Kelly bracket. So you first ignore the first two Kelly bracket and then you copy up to dot JPG. That's where some people make it. If you copy the whole of this, it will only show the, the, the thumbnail, like a very small picture. But we are just looking for the one that will fit in the info box. So we'll just copy up to the dot JPG. So I'll copy it again and then come back to the article. I'll click on edit source and I'll look for where the image is. Then I'll put the URL. Someone was asking about the caption. So under the caption, I can just put Added the caption, and then I will go to preview. You can always preview to see how it looks. Initially, so with can, the yeah. Can you see the Can you see the caption? Yes, please. So the, the about the campaign. Here. Yes. This is me. Are you not adding it? I'm waiting to see where you add there. Hash WPWP, and I didn't see it. Okay. 
Okay, I've not, I'm just previewing to show you how it, it will look. I'll come to that place. But I hope we can all see the caption. Someone was asking um, about yeah, the caption. So when you type the caption, it falls right below the image. That's the caption of the image. You can just write something little about the image, what the image is about. In this case, I just, you know, typed an image of one uh, Hamlet less. So that is it. Then I'll come back to my editing. Now, this is where you add the hashtag for your contribution to be part of the campaign. I'll just type hashtag WP, WP. Then I click, this is a minor edit. And I hit publish changes. Yeah. So that is it. Now we have the image on it, and then uh, there's also an image on Wikidata. Any question? We can go on and on and on. There are so many um, English Wikipedia articles without images. All the Wikimedia projects, there are a lot of them without images. So this campaign helps people to add more images to random articles. You can go and select another topic. I'm working on film. I can go and select a topic on humans. I can select a topic about stadiums, about sports, Olympics, anything that you are interested in. You can you know, just select a topic and then go through the articles and you'll be able to add more images. The more images you add, the higher your chances of winning. A lot of people are adding images all over the world. And this is um, one of the sessions that will like introduce you to the campaign. So if you are interested, you can just like, you know, contribute and win some prizes. I don't have much information about that. I know um, Alison will be talking about that more. Um, yeah. So the third two, we've spoken about the Wikidata query services. We've spoken about the WP4WP. Now let's talk about the PET scan. This is slightly difficult as compared to the one I just did. Here you need to select some, uh, you need to add some information to the page to be able to narrow your search to the topic that you are looking for. You, but the easiest way to do that is to go to the manual. When you click on manual on this page, you get more information about how to use the tool. We are almost like time, so I wouldn't want to use that to demonstrate, but I'll just introduce you to the PET scan and I'll share the link with you. I can do a quick video on how to use the PET scan to get a lot of images. So the page I opened has all this information. Let me go back. Okay, so these empty fields, you would use this information to complete them. Um, you will see the, the language, you type ENG, the project, if you are working on Wikipedia, you type Wikipedia, depth, you type this, the categories, it will give you the list of categories per line. You can use this, you can leave it empty or just add your own category, negative categories. You can leave that empty as well. Once you fill all this information, it's quite long. Here you add the last edit, last change, the size of the file that you are looking for, red links, just fill the boxes here. And then you click on do it. You click on do it here. Once I click on do it, um, as you see, 
all the information that I'm looking for. So this looks like the Sparkle query. This one, the only difference is this one is more like a form where you put the information and then click do it for it to generate the information you are looking for. But with Sparkle, you type the code and then run it as a query to get all the information that you want. Any question on this? Yes. Okay, let's quickly um, use this to, to search out at that has no images. And we'll see how it's done, please. The, um, so we are 4.53. We are ending this call in the next seven minutes. Um, let me see if we can do that. This is quite, it will take a little time to complete the information. If you don't mind, I can do a video tomorrow and then send it to you all, or we just add it to the follow-up image with the, uh, the email with the slides. I don't want to take all the time from Alison. <laughs> yeah, that would be perfect. Okay, all right, okay. Alison. Um, wow, I, um, I am not well-versed in these tools and I think w, WD4WP is just really cool and I can't wait to play with that a bit um, gotcha. a bit later. So um, Sadiq showed everyone how to add a photo um, to a page. Uh, the only thing that I really wanted to, to uh, bring to everyone's attention was, um, actually, if you could just go to the next slide, since I think you covered that. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I'm so sorry, I'm on a different computer and it's like the permissions are off and oh boy. Um, but so a big aim of the this campaign is um, adding photos that were gathered during other kind of adding images campaigns. So I'm adding some links to the chat of different, um, you know, Wiki, Wikimedia photo walks or Wiki loves monuments, Wiki loves Africa. Wiki loves Earth. Um, these are gatherings of photos that people have done before. And that's a great way to look around and um, you can just explore within those, see what kind of images people have uploaded and then um, try to find pages that they might work for. That could be another way if um, these tools are really cool. But you know, if you're a more visual learner or someone who just wants to look at photos, um, that can be a great way to, to get started on this campaign as well. Um, that's really all for me, I think. Sadiq, is there anything else you wanted to add or if anyone has burning, more burning questions, please feel free. Yeah, I think um, I've covered all that I wanted to. Um, like I said, because of the time, I am sorry, I will not be able to like, you know, demonstrate the other tools, but I will definitely do that in one of our next sessions. Okay, the next question. Any question about the campaign? how to add images, um, how to find images for Wikipedia articles. Any question? Oh, so no question. All, all, all the three um, format you've tailored, I believe in any article you can choose, use any of the yes. article. Yeah. Yes, yes. So you can, you even without the, as I showed you, the first one I showed you that you can even get some of the uh, single articles or like images on Wikimedia Commons by just going to commons.wikimedia.org and then use your normal search by typing the title or a topic, name of a topic of, um, or maybe a place or anything on Wikimedia Commons, it will show you pictures that relates to that particular topic. If we are talking about Tamale Market, maybe you, there's an article 
on Wikipedia called Tamale Market, and you want mm -hmm. to add an image to Tamale Market. So this is basically about your own choice, like the kind of images or that you are looking for, or the kind of articles that you want to add images to. If yours is to add maybe images to Dagban Wikipedia articles, you can just go to Wikimedia Commons and then type the name of the topic. Mm -hmm. Then like Tamale Market, maybe there's a file on Tamale Market when we're doing the, which was uploaded during the Wiki Labs folklore. You can find it and then add it as I showed you. You just add it to the article. You can do that in your own way. You can do that to multiple articles from any part of the world, like English, even different languages. But for the three tools that I've demonstrated, um, the first and then third one is a bit like technical, which I don't want. I just want yeah. at the end of the session, I want people to get something from the training and then be able to quickly practice. And I feel the second one was the easiest way to find yeah. images. The yeah. first and the third one are, as I said, a bit technical, which I'll take my time to, before we send the follow-up messages to you, I'll take my time to record a short video, um, probably show you how to do that on your own. So you can just pick the, 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 w, the, the second one I did, you can just pick that and then play with it if you want to participate in the WPWP campaign. Okay. And when is it coming off? It's already on, it's ongoing. It's okay. ongoing. Okay. It's from July 1st to August, the end of August. So that's, you know, we encourage you to add photos whenever you'd like, but to be included in the campaign, it's until the end of August. So do we have specific number of images to be added to any article? No, you can okay. add as like, oh, okay. A particular article. So there are articles that has uh, more than one images. You can have an image on the info box, like I just demonstrated. You can have images inside the article, depending on the nature of the article, but it's not composite that you put images on single Wikipedia articles. The most important thing is having an image about the topic, like in the inf info box. But if there is a need for you to add either an audio pronunciation or audio file of that particular um, article, or maybe you just want to put an image inside the article, you can still do that, but it's not always the case. We are more interested in putting the first image in the info box. Okay, thank you. Uh, Sadiq, so PET scan is one of the tools that you're going to do a video about afterwards, right? Yeah. Okay, great. That was just a question in the chat um, about that demo, but that is coming soon. And that's amazing of you. <laughs> Extremely generous. Yeah. I'm just going to so, add the um, reimbursement um, information one more time in the chat in case anyone needed that again. And it looks like we are at 1 p.m. Are there any final kind of burning questions or is everyone ready to add photos to pages? Yes, we are ready to add more pictures. Yay, I'm so glad to hear it. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> That's great. Um, well, thank you all so much for coming today. Um, thank you, Sadiq, for your incredible um, work and expertise. You're a great teacher. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for coming and feel free to, you know, fill the uh, reimbursement form if you are requesting for data allowance or investment. Um, just fill it and then Alice, um, they will get back to you. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful evening.